I had my life planned even from childhood. It was a very traditional plan. I wanted to get married, have children, pursue a degree in music, and be active in my church and live happily ever after with my Prince Charming. And it looked like I pretty much had my plan on track. I got married, had my daughter, had a degree in music, was leading the choir at my church. And so I thought, okay, this is, this is good. This is what I've planned. But then when my daughter was eight years old, my plans changed abruptly as I found myself going through a divorce. And overnight, my dreams were shattered. I had to go do what I'd never planned to do, and that was get a job and earn a living. I spent the next 10 years trying to make my dream come true, of finding someone to marry me and take me out of this career track and back to plan A. And this led me into a very sinful lifestyle. I wanted to blend in with everyone else, and I mostly wanted to find this man, whoever he might be. And you know, when you walk away from God's plan for your life, it's always downhill. So before long, I lowered my standards and my biblical principles, and I was pretty much leading a double life, one person on Sunday and another person during the week where I worked. But I was determined to make my dreams come true. But as I said, for 10 long years, as hard as I tried, I just couldn't make them come true. At one point when my daughter was entering her junior year in high school, I decided to take a job in Chicago and move. And I had no support team in Chicago. I knew no one there. There was really no reason to leave a very good job and move to Chicago. But I thought in a big city like that, I would have better opportunity to meet some man who would uh, salvage my life and, and help me to make my dreams come true. Well, in God's wonderful providence, I began attending a very good church, and I began listening to the Word of God. And it took another 18 months uh, of rebellion on my part. But finally, when I was at the end of my rope and I realized I had driven my life into the ground and I couldn't make my dreams come true, Finally, I repented and asked God for forgiveness and asked Him to give me a new beginning in my life. It was still quite a few months of grieving through the loss of my dream, but during those months I learned so much about trusting God and how much God loves me and how much better His plan is for my life than my plan was. And now, 28 years later, as I see the wonderful plan that God had for me and allowing me to begin this ministry to workplace women and giving me the great privilege of sharing my life with so many other people, I'm just amazed at how wonderful our God is. Truly, His new beginning for my life has been better than anything I could ever have imagined.